I don't know just where I fell. I have a price to pay till my dying day. Without you, I'll be an empty shell. Welcome, Mr. Dale McCurry. Welcome, Dale. Thank you, Ronnie Reno. Appreciate you we're, having us here. Well, we're tickled to have you here. I, I want to go back a little bit and, and, and tell a, a little bit about you. Back in the, the early 60s, uh, let's go back to that time in your life. Uh, basically, it was a time uh, that the college movement was pretty pretty heavy in the United States, and it was going over to, uh, to folk music. It was going over to bluegrass music and Mr. Bill Monroe was right in the middle of it. Well, there was yes, another yeah. gentleman that, uh, by the name of Dale McCurry that was right in the middle of it. And uh, tell us a little bit about that era. Okay. Well, I guess I was about the right age, you know, to, to come well, along. Well, you're still then. the right age. <laughs> <laughs> don't feel like I did then, though. Oh, I know. It. I know the feeling. But uh, Bill Monroe started working the college circuit then, you know, and, and uh, his music his audiences were changing about that time, yeah. and I just happened yeah. to get a job playing uh, guitar and, and singing mm -hmm. with singing lead with Bill, you know. And, mm -hmm. and at the time, you had Bill Keith uh, playing oh, yeah. the banjo. Bill started the chromatic playing on the five-string banjo. Yeah, I think. At I, that I, time. Yeah, I don't think I'd ever heard anybody play just like him until then. You I know? hadn't either. I yeah. had not either. And uh, Bill's music changed to some degree, too, about that time, you know. I know it. And, uh, but that's that's actually what got me started. I was pretty young then and pretty scared, you know. But uh, <laughs> especially the Grand Ole Opry. You oh, know. for sure, for sure. <laughs> what did you think the first time you went on the Grand Ole Opry, Dale? I can't remember. Tried to block <laughs> it out. <laughs> it well, was... with you and Bill singing as high as you sing and as clear as your voice is, and as high as Bill sings and as clear as his voice is, I bet it was a great uh, duet. Well, it felt good. Oh, you know? I bet it did. I it... was. Uh, it, it was a little exciting for me, and I wasn't too sure of myself, you know, but yeah. the only thing I knew to do was just uh, get in there and, and get it with him if I could, you know. Oh, he'd pull you in there. He would. Yeah, yeah Mr. Sure Bill would pull you in there. Hi, guys. Thanks so much for watching this week's video. If you liked what you saw, hit the subscribe button right now. We post on Thursday of each week, so subscribe if you like. Also, please check out our friends, Summer and Bray, over at their YouTube channel. They're part of the Country Road community, and their link is right here. Finally, if you want to see stuff like this in full episodes, check out CountryRoadTV.com and use the code RENO, R-E-N-O, when you sign up for a free month. Thanks again for watching, and see you next week.